In this video I'm going to show you the areas of heat loss in our home with this brilliant bit of kit which Octopus Energy have very kindly let me borrow. I thought our house was pretty good at keeping in the heat until this little gadget has made me realise how many ways our precious heat is escaping. I'll show you 5 areas where we are losing this heat from and 5 low cost simple solutions we've put in place to reduce this. If you're new here we regularly bring you ways to improve your home by making it more efficient, smart and sustainable and you can subscribe for free to stay notified of videos just like this one. So, keeping things simple, orange, yellow and white colours suggest an area is warm. The brighter the colours, the hotter the area, like this kettle. Whereas dark blue, purple and black mean the colder the area, like this ice cube. Starting on the outside of our house, you can see that it is largely cold blue colours on the brick, which means most of the heat is being kept inside. This house was built around the year 2000 and has cavity wall insulation in place. Clearly our double glazed windows are our biggest source of heat loss. A simple way to reduce this is by keeping your curtains closed when the sun goes down. You can see the difference in the heat loss to the outside compared to not having your curtains drawn. Moving inside, you can see that around the edges of this external door there is cold air getting into the house. Despite the rubber draft seal already in place, we have been able to reduce the amount of cold air getting in by fixing a draft excluding adhesive seal around the door frame. You can see the difference this makes in reducing cold air entering the house here. We have recently installed a Tardo Smart thermostat with individual smart radiator valves, allowing us to turn off the heating in unused rooms on an automatic schedule. It is therefore important to keep doors closed on unused and unheated rooms and will cost you nothing to do. You can see here the difference in the amount of cold air entering the warm house when the door of the cold room is open, compared to when it is closed. If you're interested in finding out more about the Tardo Smart Thermostat, we'll be releasing a video about this and you can click that subscribe button with notifications so you don't miss out. Our fireplace and chimney which we don't often use is a large source of heat loss in our living room. We have made this DIY draft excluder and you can see the difference it makes in keeping the heat from escaping up, up and away. Obviously make sure you remove this before next lighting your fire. Finally we have a hot water tank and you can see the heat transfer from the exposed pipes and the top of the hot water tank itself. For a few pounds we were able to buy some foam pipe insulation lagging and easily install this ourselves to the exposed pipes. A hot water jacket as a one-off cost for around £15 can save you up to £20 per year according to the Energy Savings Trust. Again this was installed easily as a quick DIY project. You can see the difference it makes here. These are just 5 simple inexpensive ways we've been able to reduce the heat escaping from our home and there's no reason you can't do the same. If you don't address the heat loss in your home, your heating has to work harder to keep you warm, increasing your energy bills and your carbon footprint. If you're interested in borrowing a thermal imaging camera from Octopus Energy, you can find out some more information about how to do this in the video description box below. If you found this video useful or learned something new, please do like it and subscribe to our channel to keep up with new content we'll be uploading. And feel free to check out some of our videos appearing on your screen right now. To help us all get started, do share in the comments section below what changes you plan to make or have already made in your home to keep the heat in. Thanks for watching, see you next time.